Civil engineering. The Prime Minister and his deputy with a blueprint to fix Britain's broken housing market. 1.5 million new homes in this parliament. That's 370,000 a year, and every council in England must help. Hello. A massive promise of future home ownership and deadlines already on the Prime Minister's mind. How long does it take to finish your apprenticeship for carpentry? Uh, this one's 18 months. A visit to a housing development in Cambridgeshire. It's areas like this, between two towns, soon to be top of the queue for planning permission. Well, I've got 1.5 million homes being built. The Prime Minister says he'll stop the blockers, all to help people like Cassie to settle down. Yeah. How's it feel to have your own place? Oh, amazing. Labour's plan to reclassify bits of the green belt into a new developer-friendly grey belt will speed up house building. But when I caught up later with Cassie, who understands the benefits, even she had questions. When you hear about sort of new building estates being built, one of the biggest things is always, you know, everyone signing petitions of don't build here, things like that. It just needs to be looked into exactly why that is. Why is it that people don't want the houses? It's 50 years since the last house building revolution in the 60s and 70s, back then driven by new tower blocks and council housing. Fast forward to now, private developers fund the work and house building is on a downward trend and so far from the target set today. Welcome to Keir Starmer's vision of the future. Show homes like this one, replicated thousands of times on this construction site and all around the country. I was talking to the boss of this construction site who said today was a great start, but there was so much more the government needed to do. Will they now take on some of those environment and nature and habitat rules that developers complain about? And if they do, could they end up in breach of their manifesto? Of course we want to get the balance right uh, with nature and the environment, but you know, if it comes to uh, a human being wanting to have a house for them and their family, that has to be the top priority. Conservationists are concerned at the Prime Minister's tone. Could he abandon other promises to get Britain building? Labour was really clear in its manifesto that it's going to meet the targets in the Environment Act. And the top first target in the Environment Act is to halt the decline of wildlife by 2030. That's really, really difficult. They will not meet the target if they approach growth by ripping up really important protections for wildlife and for our natural environment. The clearest of targets, but hard to see how they get there without picking big fights. Fixing the foundations, but will Keir Starmer be the one to actually finish the job? 